Yeah. Yeah. Well, that, that's definitely quite a, a elaborate process. I understand, obviously, um, as, as Aram mentions, for example, the expertise you have obviously plays a big role in it. Uh, just just a, a bit of a follow up question before we move on to the next uh, main question. Um, you were mentioning that it's important to do it as a team, right? Because then you have multiple th people thinking about uh, the, pro the possible threats to privacy um, and it's In general, more more so in, in the case of, of big organizations, is it usually also a good practice to consult like external, um, for example, an external consultancy firm that also does privacy threat modeling? Is it usually a good idea to also get other people maybe that are not from your organization, but from uh, external sources to also try and do privacy threat modeling in your organization? Or is it usually better to just keep it within within the walls of, of your of your company? Um, go ahead. I would say that uh, if if you have no experience in threat modeling, you should probably invite an external uh, expert who will then moderate and help you threat model. But in terms of once you have that process set up, once your uh, let's say your security champions have mastered threat modeling and are threat modeling experts, um, I, I don't think that an external party will be of much help because they are also not. Are, are unlikely to understand your system as good as your own team does. Yeah, I, I agree. I was also thinking of in, in the first phase setting it up, it's it's useful to have somebody there, but the end goal is to to do it yourself and have security champions, privacy champions fill that, that role there, yeah. Hey.